This is the all new Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter F 2.8 Di3 VXD G2 Nikon Z mount lens. So there have been some whispers that this lens is quite special. Well, let's get out there and test it out and see what all the fuss is about, shall we? Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Just a very quick thank you to the team at Tamron Australia for sending me out this lens to test and review. But this is just a loaner lens. I'm not getting paid to do this video by Tamron. So any sort of findings or opinions I've got of this lens are mine alone. The lens comes well packaged and you get your manual, front and rear lens caps and lens hood. First impressions, well, it was just how crazy lightweight it was in my hand. It felt like I was hardly holding anything. The zoom was a little firm, but that was probably because it's a brand new lens. And the focus ring turned very smoothly. Noticed it had a USB-C port to adjust the lens via the Tamron Lens Utility Program and for future firmware updates, along with an FN button so you can assign some different settings from the menu. It's an FX or full frame lens and weighs in at 550 grams, has a 67 millimeter filter thread, and the aperture range is from f2.8 to f22. The lens construction is 17 elements in 15 groups, and it has a nine bladed aperture diaphragm. And are you ready for this? The minimum focus distance is just 18 centimeters at 28 millimeters, that is insane and the minimum focus distance at 75 millimeters is 38 centimeters. That minimum focus distance is just crazy. I cannot wait to see what this does out in the field. Anyway, enough of me talking. Actually, this has been touted as a brilliant walk around lens. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head out into the field see what I can see and see how the lens performs on my Nikon Z7. So already with this lens, I've noticed one thing. When it's teamed up with my Nikon Z7, it makes for a really lightweight combo. I can walk around with this in my hand quite comfortably and it's beautifully balanced. That's the thing that I've picked up. This combo is just lovely to use. You know, I remember when this lens first came out in the Sony E-mount, that was the RXD model. And that set the world on fire in the Sony E-mount because people were opting for this lens instead of going for the Sony 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 G Master. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna be the same for the Nikon brand, but we never got to see the first generation of this lens come into the Nikon Z mount. Well, kind of actually we did because the, the Nikon 28 to 75 millimeter f 2.8 lens is kind of like a direct copy of that first model of this lens from the Sony E-mount. But this is the generation two. Now, Tamron, have gone to town on this and they've improved the optics. The focusing in this is, let me tell you, it is lightning fast. I'm just gonna put up some vision right here where I'm going from the foreground to the background and it's accurate and it's fast as you can see. Now Tamron have also improved a lot more features on this lens and I'll talk about that as I go on. Already just getting around in this nature reserve, I'm finding it such a pleasure to use. I've seen birds and trees, that I've been able to get in there close with this lens and I'm getting some beautiful bokeh in the background. I've seen some sun coming through the canopy of the forest and I'm getting these beautiful sun stars as well as you can see how close I'm getting with some of these shots like the flowers and there was even this incredible playful butterfly that just kept on dancing around near me so I got some shots of it in stills and video. I cannot believe the crazy minimum focus distance on this lens at 28 millimeters at 18 centimeters. I'm getting some amazing shots, things like flowers, all those little intricate details in nature. 
you can capture with this lens. And they're sharp. That's the thing. I'm getting some beautiful sharp images out of this lens and that is very important. So what else could you use this lens for? Well, it is the new Mr. Versatile in my eyes. You could use it for things like landscape, maybe a little bit of astro. Things like food bloggers could use it for food blogging because of that minimum focus distance you get in so close. Street photographers, it's light enough. You've got that good range between 28 and 75 millimeters. You can do so many things with that focal range. And things like traveling. I think this would be an awesome lens for traveling. You've also got things like portrait photography at that 75 millimeters at f2.8, you get such beautiful bokeh happening in the background. And then of course, it's just great for a general walk around lens. It doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're in a park, you're going to a family event, fantastic lens for that. One thing I should mention too, is that this lens is weather sealed. Now, when it comes to things like eye detect inside the Z7, it works perfectly. In fact, if you have a look at this one, it's quite funny. I'm using the eye detect on Yoda in the garden and it's actually picking it up. And being an f2.8 lens, I'm getting some stunning bokeh happening in the background of my shots. So let's talk more about that sharpness out of this lens. I'm amazed. I think Tamron have done such a good job. When I first took some test shots, my mouth just hit the ground. I couldn't believe that it was so sharp for the price of this lens. Now that's very good for consumers out there that you don't have to spend a fortune and get a nice sharp lens that's fast at f2.8 and it won't break the bank. Now being an f2.8 lens, it comes in so handy when you're in low light situations. So if you're out at night and you're doing street photography, this lens is fantastic. As well as you can see here in the background, I'm in a pretty dark forest, but I can still use that f2.8 aperture especially in video, and I can get some beautiful shots. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm having so much fun with this lens. I'm getting such beautiful shots with it, but there's just this one little tiny thing that I think goes against it, and that is the fact that it doesn't have that 24 millimeters. I would love just that little tiny bit more focal length at the wide end. Now, because this lens is so lightweight, and it makes a lightweight combo with the Nikon Z7, I can actually use this on my gimbal. I've got a Feu Tech Scorp 2. I'm gonna run you some vision now. So as you can see, it works no problem on a gimbal. It really is a fantastic lens for the price. In fact, I'm gonna go so far to say as I think this is actually the best bang for your buck lens there is for the Nikon Z mount at the moment. So how would I sum up this Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter F2.8 G2 Nikon Z mount lens? Well, say for example, you took some of the optical performance and the focusing ability of the Nikon 24 to 70 millimeter F2.8 S lens. That's a much more expensive lens. And then you took say the lightweight and say the price point of the Nikon 28 to 75 millimeter f 2.8 lens you join those two together and you end up with this and it's the cheapest of all the three lenses anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the review if you need any more information on this lens i've left you a link in the video description box below as i always say never stop creating i'll see you next time